In this video, Sizo Besi discuss our theorem number seven. In the description box, Sizo tola my links for Amanyama recordings. And why is it for my theorem? Sizo tola laga grade 11. If you are a grade 12 student and a Ubugele, please stay tuned. Ngoba. This stuff is it discuss it it in geometric grade eleven. It's still examined in our grade twelve. Thanks for tuning in. Um, in the description box is a Amanyama theorems as well as an exercise on I complete after watching the video theorem number seven. The exercise is a in the description box. It's only based with theorem number seven. So I, I believe what is what now in understanding with theorem number seven much better so theorem number seven who involve a radius who involve a radius as well as a tangent a radius and a tangent so theorem number seven fortunately i don't know if i should say unfortunately or fortunately but fortunately theorem number seven are gonna prove it but 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 this can be theorem number seven can be proved but for some reason theorem number seven has improved you see um cause uh, okay mina i i think Uti, it's because of the scope of work involved in proving with theorem number seven there's too many constructions so I might understand as to why by a proof your corner bang I examine like look and go see la pass you to a grade 11. So if you for now prove out theorem number seven why Google so it only proof your corner you won't really call 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 but for our see pass theorem number seven and yeke and yeke we give up using a proof your corner but for the other theorems there's a high probability with the bag of now Theorem number seven, Uti, a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at that point of contact. This is theorem number seven. Now, uh, okay. If but a tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact, it means that U B two, no B one are ninety degrees. Theorem number seven, Uba useful. When it comes to when it comes to our proofs, sometimes now I'm saying ufuna ugu. Okay, our proofs. This is what discusser later. Ankulum ngama proofs. What theorem one, two. There are proofs. About, there are proofs about buza one in an exam or a test. Wherever the proof a good line A B B C they are parallel. That the the quadrilateral A B C D. Is a cyclic quad in Kulumanga lao ma proofs lao. Oh, there's also another proof about Buzayona where but he show that or prove that AC is a tangent. So by calculating 90 degrees la, boom, so no theorem number seven, right? So when you go by a tangent, this tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Theorem seven also has a converse now. Now on a converse as well. So the converse you know it if lana it's ninety degrees between lama lines now the radius as well as this tangent, therefore it means that this line is a tangent. Well. Okay, anyway, I send this so let's do our examples just to demonstrate to do theorem number seven. Usually sevens are not going to change. Theorem number seven Okay, special now we for no calculator in angle in some so yeah, what? an angle. So lagu A check again. So for no calculator X, calculate the values of, of the unknown angles. Unknown angles. O is the center of each circle and A B T is a tangent. So let's calculate X la. But we are going to X and conum calculator without the state angle guess what this angle o, o b t o b t this o b t this o b t is equal to 90 degrees why it's because of a tangent is perpendicular to a radius 
this is how we use Ethereum number 7. Right? To show that this is this angle is 90 degrees. Right? Somehow theorem number 7 is related to theorem number 1. Is it? Or the converse of theorem number. Yeah, it's the converse of theorem number 1. But with theorem number 1, we are dealing with E. What's this called? A chord. We are dealing with a chord instead of a tangent, right? So log theorem number seven is just a radius and a co a radius and a tangent. So ninety degrees lambda. Let's calculate to x. X is equal to one hundred and eighty degrees minus thirty five minus ninety degrees sum of angles in triangle so x is equal to 180 minus 90 it's 90 19 keep at 35 um, isn't it 65 oh 55 55 degrees a okay yeah, it's 55 x now let's calculate to b now b but to calculate the value of the unknown angle so i'm going to angle but do you realize, Witty, I cannot calculate lama angles la without calculating a gal. So, the gal argument. The angle la is given, but in terms of a, as well as the angle la is given in terms of a. We short ang this angle, which is what it's ninety degrees. U a b o. It's equal to ninety degrees again. Tangent. Perpendicular to the radius. No more radius perpendicular to tangent. It's one and the same thing. And then see how we are going to it. All right. 180. I mean, come on, let's see it here. 2a, I'm no 3a, I'm no 90. Le enge le, I'm no 90. I should get 280 degrees sum of angles in triangle 2a plus 3a it's 5a equal to 180 minus 90 degrees so 5a so lana lana is to calculate the value of a much it's 90 and then nine, 90 divided by 5 a is equal to 19 divided by 5 6 ah, 18 <laughs> 18 18 18 so a, a is equal to 18 actually angle but just a value now 3 times 18 young negative value 2 times 18 young negative value will be so let's calculate 3 times 18 54 so lana it's 54 degrees 54 degrees and then this is Allah 2 times 18 36 36 degrees so basically Theorem number seven is my plus. So, is ni is this opportunity to f to calculate an angle? Like is not is is an extra angle so that we can calculate the unknown angles according in the given shape. So our video pelila lana in the description box. Please check it out. To the Tolama links for an exercise, which I. I, I recommend go to Yenze as well as I'm on links for Amanyama theorems in So for now, I'll spawn on the next video. Bye bye.